this is Dave from Retired Time Productions. And recently a viewer of mine, Glenn Felpel, asked me about doing an audio overlay on the timeline in Magics. Just record audio right along with a video. So what he's talking about is this. Say I had some video on the timeline, like this. Say I didn't like the audio that was in it. I could just go ahead and separate and delete the audio put the cursor at the beginning somewhere where I want to start then hit this red button go to audio I'll just go ahead and select the volume so you can see my mic is working and now I'll click record so this is the new rumor that's out right now that DJI is going to release the Mavic Mini which is a very small version of the Mavic and this is a top view of it right here I just recorded the audio so now I have a choice. Do I want to retake it? If I click retake, it'll go back to the beginning and I can voice it all over again. But I'll just click yes. And now we're done. We can go ahead and close this. And sometimes it'll put it down on a lower track like this and you just move it up. Or you can see it. There it is. Okay, let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, so you can see it's playing, and the audio goes right along with the video. So that's how simple it is to do it, and I'll get into a little more detail next, but this was just a quick overview for the short of attention span who didn't want to wait for a big long video, but now I'll go in and show you more details on how I did it for the beginner. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. The voice over here for the beginner. So what I'm going to do is bring a file onto the timeline. So I'm just going to drag it over there. And you know I'm in timeline mode right now. Uh, you can tell that by the icons that are in the corner right here. This icon right here should be highlighted for timeline mode. Okay, let's bring in the file. And when I say bring in the file, I'm talking about just grab one from your folder in your computer, wherever you have your video files. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring it in there and drop it on the timeline. All right, so there it is. Now, say there's a section of it that I'm really not happy with the audio. So we'll come along with my cursor. Let's say I want to talk about this spec section here. I'll just go ahead and cut the object right here with these scissors. All right, now I just want to work with this object and put audio over it. So I'm going to go ahead and separate the audio out. Now I can do that with the unchain icon here. Do that brings the audio down. Now I don't want to use this audio anymore so I'll just go ahead and delete it. Now if you want to get it back at any time you can uh, right click on the video object, go to audio functions right here and then you can restore original audio and that'll put it right back so it's back in there now okay again I'll just repeat getting rid of it using the unchain icon there we go alright now let's go ahead and record some audio so the first thing you gotta do is make sure that you have a microphone plugged in I know that seems silly but that's step number one you have to have a mic and hopefully it's a pretty good mic the better the mic, the better the sound's going to be, and your viewer will enjoy it more. But plug the mic into your mic input on your computer, and then you want to make sure it's working, and we'll do that in a second. So what we'll do is begin the record session. So let's go ahead and hit this red dot here. Now if you don't see this red dot, it may be that it's obscured. Sometimes this bar here gets hidden, and what you can do is go up to Window, Window Arrangement, and click standard or click say reset window arrangement and that will get everything back where you can see it but you need that red button so let's click the red button and then we'll go to audio this one right here and that brings up the audio recording dialog now this is where you can select your microphone if you drop this down and there is no microphone to select you have a problem and that probably means your microphone isn't being recognized by Windows. You may need to install a driver. Or maybe your microphone is there, but there's no audio. So to find out if there's no audio, you can click Display Audio Volume Control here. 
Now when I talk you can see the level meters are moving so that means my mic audio is working. If you weren't getting any activity there then chances are your Windows mixer or your maybe your volume control in Windows has the mic muted. So just go in there and unmute it and bring up the volume slider and then you'll be all good to go. Get your mic working. Now you're ready to record. Now you can go ahead and save the file with any name you want. Now I'm just using the default name, but you could retype that to something else. You can put it in whatever folder you want or whatever place on your hard drive, but I'm just going to leave it where it is. Now this is your recording quality and I usually use CD audio, just normal CD audio, and you can see it's 44.1 kilohertz stereo. So that's what I'm going to be using. And there's also an advanced tab where you can go in and tweak some other things. Like if you just wanted mono recording for some reason, you could do that. You can also take off the real-time adjustment for sample rate. But I wouldn't really worry about that because it usually works great just with the default settings. Okay, now comes the time to record. Now when I hit this record button, the cursor is going to start moving from its current position and you just speak as much as you can until you get tired. How about that? If you, or if you just want to give up part way through, I'll show you what to do there. Say the recording doesn't sound like you thought you would. You forgot your lines or you muddled something up. So say I started recording and I go, Oh, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, what was I going to say? Oh, crap. Okay, so you just stop it. Okay. Now to do it again, you can hit retake. It'll bounce right back to the beginning here and automatically start recording. So I could say, so I want to talk about these specifications. So I could say, so here are the rumored specifications about the Mavic Mini. And you can see that it has some pretty good stuff here above the Spark, actually. Like it has a 4K camera. Okay, so I just hit stop record. And I could take it like it is. But if I wanted to retake it again, I could just hit this and do it again. So now let's say we want to keep it. We'll just do this. And then we can close this dialog. And usually it puts it down below. I don't know why, but there it is. And now we can move back up top. And when we play it, it goes ahead and plays the audio right along with the video. Now if you don't like it still, you can just highlight it like this. Press the delete key and it's gone. All right, let's try it again just for one more practice. Hit the red button, hit audio, check your settings, click display volume to make sure your mic's working, hit record, and record it again. So here are the rumored specs for the DJI Mini. I didn't like that, so just stop it, do a retake, so here are the rumored specifications for the Mavic Mini. And you can see it has some better features over the Spark, such as a 4K camera at 30 frames per second. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead with that. I, I messed up one thing, but I can do that in post, take out my mistake. So I'm going to say yes, and then close. Scroll down, move the audio up, and we're done. So that's all there is to it. I hope that helps and uh, on this particular thing I can answer some questions if you have any questions. Most of it's usually, oh my mic didn't work and some of those things I can't fix. Maybe you've got a bug in Windows or a bad driver or something or your mic's bad. You know, you just have to maybe take it to a technician and get it repaired, get your computer fixed so your mic works. And that's all I can tell you. but. Other than that, the settings within Magics I can deal with. Okay, so thanks for watching. Glenn, I hope that helps you out. And uh, you'll be able to get those voice overlays onto your videos and just keep trucking along. 
Okay, we'll talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to see more content. Thanks for watching.